Hey there, I'm Han. And I'm Kat, and we're Brews and Reviews. So today's video is a very exciting one. It's a Game of Thrones tag. And we got tagged by Books and Looks to do this one. And obviously with the new season coming out, yes. we're very excited. We are. Very, Hence we are very donning excited. our Game of Thrones tops. I mean, Game of Thrones more. you kind of can't see my Game of Thrones top because I'm so short. But <laughs> you know, it also says winter is coming, like the mug that I have here, my favourite mug. This tag is going to contain some major spoilers, so yeah. if you're not caught up on Game of Thrones, you probably don't want to be watching this because we don't, you know, hold back. I don't know what I'm doing with my hand here, but <laughs> I'd like to point out that I am kind of sick. I've been really ill all week and I like can't hear out of either of my ears properly right now. So if I sound really odd or like <laughs> lapse into some sort of coughing fit, that's why. <laughs> Question one, how did you discover the series or the books? For me, I discovered these kind of weirdly because my dad's friend, he lent my dad the book, Game of Thrones and it just sat in, in our house for a long time, not being read by either me or dad. And then uh, the series came out and I was like, oh my God, yes. And then I read like 60 pages of the book the night that the first episode came out and then I just didn't, didn't read it anymore. I was like, I haven't got time for this book. So I'm, I heard about it basically when the first episode came out, even though the book had been in my house for a long time. I heard from it from you because mm. we were on holiday and I was trying to think of some books to read so you brought Game of Thrones for me so I sat there trying to read it and I was like what is this like who are you like there were so many characters I was like majorly majorly confused so your idea was do you know what watch the series and then read the book so which is what I did and to be fair, I got like, what, um, three odd books in or something like yeah. that. And I do enjoy it, but for the series, but yeah. that's how I got into it. And when you first started watching it, you used to always talk about it. Because I yeah. remember the conversations about the dying wolves. Because even though I didn't, I didn't have a clue what you were on about, all I thought was, I need a dying wolf in my life. Yeah, I always thought the really funny thing about when me trying to get you to watch the series is I was trying for ages yeah. to get you to watch it. I was trying and trying and trying and trying and you were like, I've got so many other things yeah. on and I can't, I don't have time for this, I'm not sure I really like it. And then eventually you're like, oh my god, oh, I know, like absolutely <laughs> obsessed. Question two, who's your all-time favourite character? I struggle with picking yeah, one. Yeah, like, me too. There are so many people in Game of Thrones, it's so hard to pick one. I'd either say Tyrion Lannister or I Stark. I'd definitely say Tyrion Lannister, but I, I do like Jon Snow and I do like Daenerys as well, so, but... If I had to choose, it would be Tyrion. Yeah, Tyrion. Tyrion's awesome. Yeah, he is. Did you just see my dad walk past with the top hat on? No. <laughs> he did. He oh. just walked past the top hat. Oh. <laughs> oh. Question three, who's your favourite side character? Again, I struggled with picking someone. I picked three separate side yeah, characters. I picked... Tormund Giant Spain because he just makes me laugh so hard. Every scene that he's in, I'm like, oh, I love Tormund. You know he's made really cute as well. Like, yeah, he's a bit of a sweetheart. Yeah, I love him a lot. Um, I picked Lady Elena because she is just a She's badass a old lady. You would not want to go up against no, her. No, she wouldn't. She just wouldn't. And she is hilarious. <laughs> and just every scene that she's in, I end up being either laughing or being like, ooh, sneaky bitch. <laughs> I also picked Davos Seaworth because he is the cutest. Mm. Him and Shireen oh. just like melted yeah. my heart and I just I just really enjoy Davos. He's very clever, he's very loyal and he, he's the kind of guy that you'd want to have at your side. Yeah. So Davos was the first person that came to my mind. Mm. But I also thought of Missandei and Grey Worm simply because even either like on their own or together they are generally so sweet. They are. Like, I think they're really good characters and I just like the relationship that they have with Daenerys and with each other. Yeah. Which I think is really nice. Oh yeah, and I chose Tormund as well, but you've already covered that one. Question four. If you could resurrect a character by sacrificing another, who would you choose? Mm. Again, I struggle. There's lots of people I want to kill, even if they're already technically dead in the <laughs> series. and. 
lots of people that I want to bring back. So if I would say the two main ones that I wanted to kill were the High Sparrow and Lancel Lannister because I genuinely dis just I'm so disgusted by religious zealots. They are just the worst. I'm not gonna go into it because oh my god, I hate them so much. I was very glad that they met their fate in the last <laughs> yes. season. Um, and the characters that I would bring back are Shireen Baratheon because oh, I don't want to see her with Davos yeah. again. And Ygritte because I just want her and Jon Snow to be no. together again. I just like people to be happy. <laughs> I chose to sacrifice Joffrey because he just needs to die like, yeah. sooner rather than later. Yeah, four seasons of him was too many seasons. Yeah. Ramsay Bolton, because he is a nasty, nasty man. Mm -hmm. Like, nasty. Ugh! Hate him. Hate him. We actually watched the episode where he got mauled to death by the dogs and I loved it. Yeah. yeah there's die, Ramsay, die! Don't ever get on Han's bad side, guys. Do you know what? I'm a nice person, honestly. <laughs> and I think I would like to bring back Ygritte, obviously, because she's just lovely and her with Jon Snow is just cute. As well as Jojo Reed, because I just really like him, you know? I, I don't know why. Like, I like him in the books and I liked him in it. And, I mean, I won't lie, it's sort of because of, I like the character who plays him as well. I know that's a bit thingy, but... Hey ho! I want to bring him back. Him again. Why not? So he'd be he'd, he'd be who I bring back. And Shireen, obviously, because I mean that was nasty. I they killed her. Yeah. She didn't need to die. You're a woman of Night's Watch. So who would you break your oath of chastity for? Um, there's so many hot people in Game of Thrones. Um, either Carl Drogo or Ygritte, because I like them both. Carl Drogo. I mean, he's hot. Yeah. Yes, he is. And he's like really like cute with Danny. Yeah. Like if he was going to be cute that way. Oh, you? I never thought to resurrect him. Like an I've resurrected Goldrick. You wanted to resurrect too many people. You didn't yeah, have yeah. enough people to kill. Maybe, maybe you can swap out Jason Reed for Goldrick. Fickle. I know. I mean, obviously Jon Snow because I mean, I would. Question six Dragon or Direwolf? Direwolf. Like, that's an easy choice for me. Like, I like would absolutely love to have a direwolf. Dragons, on the other hand, while supremely awesome and terrifying at the same time, I feel like they would be really hard to have as pets. They are, I think, less loyal, more independent thinkers, and they're gonna eat a lot of people. Like, they're just gonna eat people. Like, try and, try and manage that. Oh, it ate my son. Oh, sorry. Do you want yeah, to get eaten but, too? Right. My son's going, yeah mate, I have a die wolf. Yeah mate, or well, I have dragons. Yeah, I don't know. It's still like... I mean, don't get me wrong, right? I love die wolves and, you know, I would love one. That is one of the main things that got me watching it was, mm -hmm. you know, when you used to talk about the dire wolves, I think you knew it was a. I knew you'd like that. In. I was like, if I keep <laughs> yeah, talking about these exactly. huge dogs, she's gonna be like, yeah. yeah. Exactly. And like you say, I do love the loyalty of them. Dragons, I mean, they're pretty cool. Yeah, but like dire wolves, think about you're like going to sleep somewhere and like it just curls up beside you and it's just a cute little fluffy dog so it's just warm except massive fluffy yeah. dog and can, but, can you imagine that with dragons can i just have can i just have that i can be the master of all animals yeah you're already mother of dragons and exactly. you know trainer of dogs and stuff <laughs> I'll, I'll just turn my dog into a dire wolf yeah best of both worlds easy yeah Question seven, which character would you most like to portray on television? Either Mira Reed or Arya Stark. I feel like Mira Reed is going to have some sort of huge adventure type thing going on. She's kind of got all that stuff going on with Bran and I just, I'm excited for that bit. Yeah. Um, so I feel like her storyline could get really interesting and Arya obviously because 
she's got that kill list and oh my god how fun would it be to kill off all those nasty people I think I'd choose Ari as well as well as uh, Daenerys because I think they're both so strong characters mm. like and I, re I would really like to you know don't get me wrong they go through some terrible shit but they come out strong in the end don't they and that's what I like and I'd, I'd like to think I could Question 8. What is your favourite moment of the books or series? There are so many I awesome know, moments. So, so many. That's so difficult. I feel like we should just check off a list, do you know what I mean? Yeah. I mean, I have a few that I like absolutely love. Like, Battle of the Bastards as an episode, but like the actual battle is yeah. just mind blowing. It is like cinema porn, like for television and just can't get enough of it. It makes me feel so many emotions. Yeah. And you like it really puts you at the heart of a battle, which I think is just brilliant. And for to have that done on television is oh, it's just amazing. Yeah. And um another another one of my favourite episodes is Hard Home, which is kind of for the same reasons. That battle is terrifying. Yeah. Those white walkers are like Oh my god, I they're scary I, as anything, aren't it they? It makes my hair stand on end that yeah. episode does. I, like I wanna watch it again and like right now because I, I just love it so much. It was such a powerful episode. Both of those were so powerful. I just I think though, um the episode obviously where everything goes down, you know, where the whole castle blows up. Oh, this the sept. Yeah, the yeah. sept. And where Tommen literally just walks out of that window. Yeah. The music, like, I just, I think, how that whole first part of that episode is structured mm. and done, it was generally quite beautiful. Mm. It was, like, I literally was just, like... It's the slow yeah. build-up, isn't yeah. it? And, like, the gradual, yeah. like, way that things are happening, and then it's like, oh, my God, yeah. what? And it's, like, just after that big explosion, and then Tom and does that, and it's, like... I just I can't take it. Yeah. It, it overload. Was, yeah, it generally was like gobsmacked. Like I was, I was blown away. Yeah, truly blown away. But as well, like I know it's nothing like like a big battle or anything. Mm. But I really like a moments between Brienne and Jamie. Oh yeah, they're really cute together, aren't they? Yeah, just because I like how Jamie's character has progressed throughout the series. I think. Like, I'm completely in love with Jamie now, oh, and yeah. I used to hate him. He is such a good character. He is. He is, like, yeah. one of the best in exactly. the entire series. Because um, you go from, like, this guy that is pushing a small child out of a window yeah. to actually going, Oh, no, I really like you. Don't die, don't die. Exactly. And just their friendship. It really, like, you can feel it. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? And you I know think, they have, like, a mental connection. Exactly. So, and, I, and I like their moments. Like, I think the series is so dark and a lot of stuff goes down so to have them sort of even though some of their moments are bad mm -hmm. but it's it's quite uplifting to see that question nine who do you think deserves to sit on the iron throne at the end of the series we both agreed on this yes we did in a perfect world which is definitely not game of thrones <laughs> but you know in our perfect world what would happen is that daenerys would be sat on the iron throne yeah Tyrion would be her hand and john would be the warden of the north because Let's face it, they're all Targaryens. Yeah, we are believers in the theory that Tyrion is a Targaryen, so just let it happen. Yeah. Let it let it happen. Please let it happen. Finally, question ten. What are you most looking forward to in the upcoming season? I think I'm just really excited for them to all come together. Because mm. we know it's gonna happen and I'm so intrigued to know how it is going to happen because they're all going to have to work together yeah but i yeah, don't know if they can or they will do you know what i mean and and i think there's so many like different personalities and beliefs that mm. it's going to be very interesting yeah they've all been so far away for so long yeah like, especially the starks yeah like that would be a nice moment yeah one of the things that i really want is an Arya and john reunion because i've just started reading the first book and even only three hours into the audiobook and I'm like, I love Harry and John, they're so cute together and I just can't wait for them to be reunited because yeah. like, Oh hug. They've they've got they've got to make that special. Yeah, they've it got has to, to be. Um the other thing that I'm really excited for 
it's just the wall with the white walkers like I'm kind of at that stage where I'm like like I know what I want to happen with all of the, like the main characters and like the wall for the Iron Throne but like that is not my major concern I want to know what is going to happen with the white walkers I want to see that bit and I feel like we're not actually going to see that bit until like the last season so oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll just be slightly sad about that but hey ho so that's it for the Game of Thrones tag we're not really going to tag anyone because there might be some people out there that aren't really Game of Thrones fans so I don't know who you are I but know. there are people out there so however if you are I mean this tag is really fun it, yeah. it really got us thinking and yeah it was it, nice to think about it before we started watching the exactly, next season exactly I think it, I think it got rem me remembering what's going on in it because it has been such a long time so if you are a fan please do this tag and we'd love to hear your answers because it's really fun also um, Books and Looks and Game of Tomes, who are the two creators of this tag, they have both have giveaways going on on their videos, so we'll link both of their videos down below in case you want to get on on those giveaways. Yeah, so if you like this video, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, let us know some of your Game of Thrones favourites, theories for the new season, all that stuff. And we'll see you next time. See you later. Bye. It's like throwing some shapes. Yeah. No box. The tired boy box. <laughs>